With a desire to see more of what the world has to offer, we have been working away for the last few months turning this 1997 Stuart and Stevenson into our ultimate expedition vehicle. With a fresh coat of paint, new lights, we are pushing ourselves to create a home that will not only allow us to travel, but to see the world from a different perspective. So follow along and join our journey as we transform this bare bone military truck into our tiny home on wheels. We got some pretty exciting projects happening. We're finally to that point. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's the flooring. I'm pretty excited because once the flooring is in, we can install our kitchen. As you can see, most of the stuff is painted. We haven't trimmed up anything yet. So first we need to do the flooring and we are waiting on our solar panels to get here. So that way we can drill the roof. It's gonna be above the bunk bed back here um, that we need to drill the the entrance uh, ways for the cables to go into. That way we can send all of our power to our solar charge controllers from the roof. And once that's done, we can trim up the, the bunk beds and finish that off as well. We already got all the sanding done, cleaned the floors, so that way uh, all of our, we're using vinyl plank, so our vinyl plank can sit flat up against the floor. Also, we're gonna lay it, instead of laying it this way, the short way, um, we're gonna lay it the long way because it should make the camper or the the home on wheels feel a little bit bigger because once the grain goes the long way it feels like it's a longer longer hallway and bigger space in general. So we should uh, get set up, get the saw set up, and then uh, well, let's get going. Oh, it just clicks in with a little rubber mallet and uh, it's pretty easy.
morning everybody so there's one thing that I get asked about the most and this is how do you get in here we've been just using a ladder to get in there because I've been neglecting to do this because I was sick and tired of welding already so we waited till now um, but at least it's a nice cool day today so uh, I'm gonna cut my pieces of steel that are going to be holding on my my two sliders we got a 500 pound rated slider i'll link the the brand in the description it's a little bit tougher to find they have multiple lengths so we're going to have a little porch system and then we're either going to build the steps ourselves or we might purchase those from a company called torque lift but spending $800 seems a little excessive on a set of stairs. So we'll see about that part, but nevertheless, let's finally get this done. We have a little bit of welding to do. I kind of did get worried about the mounts, so we're gonna reinforce those a little bit. Not like you'd really need to, but I just wanna do it for peace of mind. What I've got here is, what is this? Quarter inch, maybe eighth inch, eighth inch. Um, flat bar and uh, we're gonna get cutting and installing this and welding this underneath there we won't actually build the deck today since I don't have any steel but we'll get more than likely the sliders in and all that so let's get going I should probably change my shoes to, uh, or sorry, my safety sandals to uh, safety boots because safety sandals seem to let through sparks.
So we just have to grind this flat. That way our sliders can fit flat against here. And then uh, we're gonna give it a quick coat of paint. Let's grind this. So here's kind of what I rigged up to hold this up. We got our rail set in there and we're gonna drill it all. So last thing we gotta do is coat all my welded stuff in some trim clad. done truck looks really complete with just having the flooring done we also welded some things in there so pretty happy about uh, getting some work done this week if you can kind of see it in the background we'll uh, we'll be doing those lights and that special uh, accent lighting on the back um, in next week's video if you haven't already subscribe and comment and share and like the video it helps us grow and uh, we'll see you next week.